What's up guys, this is Vince and we are going to do a build update. So this is my 65 Fastback with the Coyote Swap. So, uh, so let's get right to it. So went on a couple things, went on some of the lights and grill and the front little piece to get the grill on. But end up doing a sick custom front spoiler. So that was made out of metal and custom just to this car front. And the MV forged rims, three piece forged rims, really nice. It's like a brushed, they call it shadow black. And then the lip is gloss black. Then all the hardware is black as well. And then all those pockets right there, or um, cut out these little pockets just to save weight. And you can see the black lip underneath. It's really cool. MV forged, dope rims. Okay, so a couple other things. Here's a trick. Carbon fiber mirrors. Those are going to look sick. The drip rail was shaved. Went with the Ring Brothers quarter vents. So it just sits super nice. Now on the interior. Let me just open up this door. So to get the coyote to fit, I had to cut into the firewall. Had a cutting transmission tunnel, new tunnel, and some more Ring Brothers parts right there. Now the Dakota digital gauges and the top of this, I shaved the uh, dash pad. Normally there's like an eyebrow that goes right there on the dash. So I save, shaved that and uh, it's not going to stay like that. I'm actually going to get a custom pad made for me. Now on the back, right now I'm just test fitting. the. Uh, well, these are normally like fiberglass panels that go back here. Um, from the factory, but ended up getting these little bit custom ABS panels from uh, Mustangs to Fear. So they'll just go on like so, and they need to be test fitted, lined up, and holes drilled. But like everything, nothing fits perfect. So as you can see right here, I got a tape, and I'm going to cut those. So. Not everything fits perfect, so I gotta line everything up and then measure and cut. So make sure everything can fit. But the whole drivetrain is done, all the electrical is done. Up next is just the interior and the glass to finish it. So I'm just test fitting all those panels and getting them on. And then instead of leaving the ABS plastic, I'm actually gonna get them fully wrapped in like the suede Alcantara. So it's going to be the whole back, and then I'm not going to have the fold-down seats. It's just going to be a, a flat back panel like the Shelby panel, and that's going to get wrapped. So just the interior and the glass work. But before I get to the motor, here are the seats. I love these things. So damn nice. So these are the TMI one-piece racing bucket. I believe they're the Pro Razors. <laughs> and then, as far as the hood pins, I got the quick latch hood pins. Give them a pop. And there we go. Nice. Fuck. Right. Looks so damn good. So we got the full Coyote 5.0 motor in there. It barely squeezes with the uh, TCI front suspension. And then also I did go with uh, Ring Brothers built hinges. Ring Brothers, cool little um, fender bolt kit. And then obviously running a master cylinder is not going to fit back there. So I had to cut into the firewall and shaved all that stuff back there. Fuel pressure regulator, aeromotive. And I have the Willwood disc brake, or well, Willwood pedal assembly, along with Willwood disc brakes. And then the the reservoirs for all the masters are right here. And this run behind the fender. So there's a coyote, just, you know, tucked up in here. Damn, it looks so good. So I'm going to test fit all those back panels and get them on there, trim them and cut them. 
and then I'll show you guys kind of what they look like so that way you could kind of get an idea of how the, the back and the rear of the car is going to be on the interior uh, before I send that out to the interior shop so that way they could wrap those back panels with the uh, suede slash Alcantara, whatever you want to call it. But there you go. So, I'm putting on this top panel. Sorry. So I'm putting on this top panel and line it up real quick. But here's something is, so this drip rail, right here, the window gasket goes right up here. So I don't have my back glass yet. So what I did is I just grabbed the gasket and I put it in there because when you go to line this up, that gasket is going, sorry, it's hard with one hand. It's going to get in the way. So you see right up top, gets in the way right here. So if I could trim this that way, when the glass is in, I don't have the seam. It's better down here if it's tight, but up there, it's gonna have that gap and you'll be able to see that with the glass in. So put the gasket in, that way I could trim it as if the window glass was in. If I had the window glass, I could just put it in, no big deal. But since I don't have the glass and I just have the gasket right now, just put the gasket so that way I could do all my trimming and fitting as if the glass was in. So there it is. I got most of the back panels on, just missing this top one. So I just need to do the top on the passenger side, but it's just a little bit of cutting, making sure everything lines up and drilling it into the normal spots. So back panels pretty much on. I just got to do this and then I'll take them back off. So that way they can go to the interior shop and uh, they could get wrapped with that suede slash Alcantara um, for the back. And then I'm just going to go with the fiberglass or not a fiberglass, but I'm going to get a panel made. So that way it's going to be the back seat delete. So guys, let me know what you think of the build. I think it's pretty much my like dopest, sickest car built to date. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Killer. Front spoiler right there. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think. If I should wrap the back, I think I'm going to do that in the Alcantara. And I'm going to have the red seats. And then it's going to be a trick dash uh, covering that's going to go on the dash right there. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the build. And I'm going to do like a complete, complete breakdown of the build. This was just pretty quick. So it's a quick update. Um, but when it's finished, you know what? I'm going to have some pretty cool videos. I'm going to have my buddy Charles come out here. And we're going to film some really cool stuff for you guys. So um, if you can, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys.